I tend to wake up sometime around 6 a.m., 6.30. The first thing I do after I wake up is I take the pen that's on my nightstand and the pad of paper on my nightstand, and I write down the time in which I woke up. The reason for writing down what time I wake up is because I want to know what's called my temperature minimum. I don't care what my actual temperature is. I care when my lowest temperature is, and I know that that lowest temperature is approximately two hours before my average wake-up time. The second thing I do after I wake up is to get into forward ambulation, which is just nerd speak for taking a walk. There's a phenomenon whereby when we generate our own forward motion, forward ambulation, visual images pass by us on our eyes, so-called optic flow. Experiencing visual flow has a powerful effect on the nervous system. The effect it has is essentially to quiet or reduce the amount of neural activity in this brain structure called the amygdala. And many of you have probably heard about the amygdala for its role in anxiety and fear and threat detection. And indeed, the amygdala is part of the network in the brain that generates feelings of fear and threat and anxiety. It does a bunch of other things too, but that's one of its primary functions. Forward ambulation, walking or biking or running and generating optic flow in particular has this incredible property of lowering activity in the amygdala and thereby reducing levels of anxiety. Getting sunlight in your eyes first thing in the morning is absolutely vital to mental and physical health. Even if there's cloud cover, more photons, light information are coming through that cloud cover than would be coming from a very bright indoor bulb. So getting outside for a 10 minute walk or a 15 minute walk will basically ensure that you're getting adequate stimulation of these neurons in the eye that are called the melanopsin intrinsically photosensitive ganglion cells. These are neurons that convey to the brain that it's daytime and it's time to be alert. And it sets in motion a huge number of biological cascades within every cell and organ of your body, from your liver to your gut, to your heart, to your brain. 